What's up, guys? It's done. And Drew. Make sure y'all subscribe. And also click the bell to get notifications for right when we upload new videos. Done and Drew, baby. Welcome to episode one four. Is it weird if, if if I look this way? What? Because I have the. Not really. They I can have, look at me. Ja. Uh, true. Welcome to episode one forty four of Dunn and Drew. I'm Drew. Welcome everybody. If you're watching on YouTube, if you are watching on YouTube, that's a good sign. It means we got this video up. Good evening, Dunn. Um, hello to all of our good listeners. Evening. We got a we got a good show for you today. Got a lot of NFL talk. Uh, but first, let's do some shout outs. Roll the music. We are the kings of the weekend. The kings of the weekend this weekend. Shout out to Devin Stower, um, 178, for retweeting last episode link on Twitter. Uh, sorry we couldn't get a YouTube video up last week. Uh, the connection was just way too laggy. I'm not going to point fingers. My bad. I'm not going to point. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to point <laughs> fingers, but he pointed the fingers. So, um, they know it's me. Yeah, it just didn't look good. It's too laggy for YouTube, um, but don't worry. I think we'll be on top of it this week. Um, here's a good rating that we got on Apple Podcasts from Mark. Eric, did you see this? He, yes, I did. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, I tweeted it. He calls himself... Um, you tagged me in it on Instagram as well. Oh, true. He caught... God, nothing gets past you. Mark calls himself Dad's biggest... D, D, Dunger's biggest fan. He said, before listening to Dunn and Drew, I was a loser who had no purpose in life. After listening to Dunn and Drew, I'm a successful man who's banging hot chicks every night. Mm. Well, if you really listened between the lines of Dunn and Drew, you'd be banging hot guys every night. Uh, this podcast saved my life, and it'll save yours too. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag bring back Young Long Kim. Uh, Young Long. I'm surprised people remember that episode with him. It must have really stood out. I know. I am, too. That was a while ago. I actually messaged Young, and he's really excited to get back on the program. I think we should bring him in for one of the top top 100. He can he can have a few a few. Inputs. He's been requested more than Ken Willis. I'm, I'm shocked. Oh, I've yeah. I've been getting Ken Willis requests. No, we haven't. So, I but have I, been. <laughs> but um, I won't tell him that. Um, oh, so yeah, please don't. Eric, it's your turn. What's you? What's going on? I see you. Are you ready for? Are you thinking college football is coming? Are you ready? No, I. Oh. I, don't, I don't need to tell you that college football isn't coming anymore. I've said my piece multiple times. It ain't happening. Um, this is my fourth. We're headed into the fourth week here in Illinois with the fam. Driving me crazy, honestly. I'm about to. Um, kill I can't myself. Hear you. But. Hear you, <laughs> Eric. As you guys see, I got this makeshift studio. If this YouTube video gets up, the internet isn't great here, but we're making it work. I got the floral pattern furniture. Oh, that's so out of like the 90s or 80s. I don't know. <laughs> this is a 70s house, so we still got the 70s furniture. I'm going to upgrade it, you know, if my grandma passes away anytime soon. This is actually the sunroom, so there's Why windows all around. There's windows all around me, and it's very steamy in here, so I'm already sweating. And we're only 10 minutes into the pod. If that. The sun's not out. Um, I know, but it, it collects the sun from throughout the day and just permeates so, throughout the room for the rest of the evening and morning. Um, but ain't shit really happening in the life of Dunn the past week. Um, probably going to be here for two more weeks. So the entire Jesus. month of, <laughs> well, What would that total to be? In July. It'd be five? It'd be the whole month, whole month of July. Yeah. Whole month uh, of July. Don't you, doesn't your family have jobs? Or are we all fur- well, furloughed? Mom's working from home, oh, and my sister and I are influencers. Entrepreneurs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? Whoa. I said the correct term. You gave me some pissy, roll your eyes at type job labor. Oh. What the fuck? Influencers. Oh, no. Suck me. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur, bitch. 
Influencer. Speaking of entrepreneurship, <laughs> you and I, we got some business deals in the works. Uh, and um, talk about those been soon. Teasing, been teasing one for like a month. <laughs> But we got really? another one that's probably, hopefully, sooner than later. Yeah, we hope. Um, good stuff coming, guys. If you guys are in the community, the Dun & Drew community group, text community, then you'll be the first ones to know, hopefully, if Andy doesn't say something. Because, Andy, you've posted something before on social media, and then I sent it to the community, and they're like, hey, I thought this was exclusive. And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> some, shit, some shit gets to social media first. <laughs> um. What was I gonna say? Oh, I, I'm gonna need this this business venture to come through because today I went to you know how Publix Uh-oh. has those, has those coin return slots. Yes. I collected the coin jar that's on my counter at home, and I took it to Publix because that's how desperate I am. I'm in between paychecks right now. Remember when I said that I paid off a credit card? Mm-hmm. So that ended up screwing me for the. Sh- it's gonna be good for the long term, but it ended up screwing me for the short term because it wiped me out. Um, so I've been, so I've been, um, I've been really scouring for money and food lately. So I'm going to need this. I'm going to need this, uh, these two things to come through for me. Acting like you homeless. Get that OnlyFans, bro. You got a boyfriend to do it. Yikes. (laughs) (laughs) Yikes. Staying in. Yeah. Um, Um, Also, I had a what's next type of call with the Jaguars this past Friday. Um, No details. No further details. I call it a what's next call because, you know, you know, business keeps flowing with the Jags. You feel me? But I'm not going to give no more details because, you know, I'm a little skeptic about the upcoming season still. A little pessimistic. Um, And until something's in writing and signed by both parties, I'm not going to be you know, too excited about Optimistic. what they offered me, but it's good things. I'd be more happy if, you know, we weren't in a fucking pandemic and the season was going on as normal, but it isn't. So I got to keep my be, guard up. Why are you going to be the mascot with zero people in the stands? Yeah. <laughs> mascot. <laughs> Six, five Jackson. DeVille. You think my black ass is skydiving into the stadium? I'm gonna be dead halfway down, or jumping I'm, I'm a, in the, or I'm jumping have a panic in the pool, attack. or jumping in the pool when we win. Right, Talk he that. can't swim. He's um, a cat. He's a black cat. Black, a black cat. Final thoughts in my intro. I thought Liverpool had won the Premier League, but apparently they're still, they're still playing, playing soccer or something. Games. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I see a soccer team trending every day. I'm like, I thought this was over. <laughs> so, so, I if you, so, Zach, Harrison, Adam, if you guys could educate me and what the hell's going on in the Premier oh, we're, League. We're about to get so many snaps. I mean, I get some every time we talk soccer. Uh, <laughs> I thought I think, Liverpool won. I thought it was over. <laughs> I think when the season's over, they take like the best teams or whatever and do some Champions Cup or something. I don't think that's what's going on right now, though. There's no Champions Cup right now. The fuck's yeah, going that's on? True, and some England. I think the England's just throwing teams out there and say play. <laughs> we need, I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, lastly, I think. Also, I think. I think because I don't know. I just I see things and I'm assuming because I don't look into them any further than what I see. Headlines, but I think yeah, baseball me. preseason started because I saw the Mets trending last night for losing to the Yankees and some guy hit a home run while wearing a mask. Yay. Um, oh, he was wearing saw, a mask? Yeah, he was wearing a mask. So I saw this highlight. Didn't see anything about baseball until this highlight that I saw on Twitter. He's wearing a mask, hits a home run. So I looked. I thought everybody on the field was wearing a fucking mask. I was like, is this what the MLB is doing? But I think he was the only one wearing it. But Nerd. Um, Nobody, nobody in the stands. He smacks that into the, into the stands, with nobody there. And then they, they zoom in on the ball, like somebody caught it in the in the, in the audience. But it was just bouncing around in the seats. So, oh, okay. damn. <laughs> but yeah, that's different. That is different. I know base, base. I thought baseball, it might have started July first, but all the teams haven't played their first game yet. So I know the Cardinals haven't. I was in St. Louis, and they were talking about pre um, opening week starting soon. But I don't know. Apparently, soccer's still going on, and baseball's going on right now. But I don't feel like anyone's talking about it. So we're just waiting for NBA because that's going to yeah. get way more buzz than these other sports. When does um, NBA start? 
July 31st, but they are uh, doing scrimmages. Scrimmages start this week. So they got uh, those are going to run an ESPN 1. Magic and two. Clippers got a scrimmage. Oh, shit. I unplugged my mic. <laughs> there we go. You said Magic and Clippers? Yeah, Magic and Clippers got a scrimmage this week. It's random. Um, well, lastly, I just miss, you know, I just miss traveling. I just want to travel again. That's why I went on that 90-minute road trip to St. Louis, because... I miss seeing new places. Um, I didn't know you did that. God, you're fake. I know. You don't watch none of my shit, do you? I do. I've been kind of out of it this last this last week. I haven't been keeping up with the group chat either. Well, I've I don't. I don't like, really. I don't even really post every single day. So anymore, at least. But you missed like the one time I went on a trip and was posting all day. And see shit. Oh, but, is that when you did the photo shoot with your family? No, that was a different day. Well, all right. I tried. Um, R.I.P. John Lewis, civil rights legend, yes, and saw that Georgia senator. Yeah, great um, man. We're losing all the greats. Yeah, Stuart it's a crazy Scott. Year. Oh yeah, Stuart Scott's huh? birthday is today. <laughs> My guy. Used to Happy watch birthday. him all the time as a kid. Happy birthday, Stu. Long ass yeah, intro. My bad. Oh yeah. Sorry, let's get into it. Um, We got hurricane segment, as always. And let me just give you guys an update. There is activity in the Gulf of Mexico, Mm. but we aren't expecting development from it. Um, It's like 20% chance it develops into something tropical, subtropical. Um, And if it does, you know, don't worry about it. Um, So, But Atlantic is clear right now. Nothing crazy going on. Until August hits. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, we're getting we're. I mean, I think we're we've been doing good this year so far. I mean, we had a couple scares early, but I mean, you're right. Come August and early September, that's when it that's when the tropics really start um, heating up. I'm all Indeed. for it. I'm all for for a hurricane. Yeah, me too. Um, give give Wipe me us. something. Give me something to to change <laughs> up the the news. Because it's all the same thing right now. Man, you just want a break in a podcast titled Hurricane Blank. Yes. <laughs> Hurricane. Forgot the names. Faye's already gone. Did Faye, Faye, Faye end passed. up wiping out New York? Howie, I don't know. I heard nothing. Absolutely nothing. But my friend, like a distant acquaintance, I should say, was on a boat in New York City. So I don't think they got hit by anything. So New York escaped just like Florida usually does. Weak ass hurricane season. Usually. Give us some spice. Speaking of spice, the NFL's a little spicy right now. Um, training camp is scheduled to open to rookies July twenty first, so that's um, Tuesday, tomorrow, depending on when you listen to this. Quarterbacks and injured pl- and injured players, which is an odd pairing, July twenty third, so that's Thursday. And then all other players, July twenty eighth. So in about eight days for all the, uh, all the players. Um, there's something no, going no, on. No hard knocks. What do you mean? They canceled it. I ain't heard nothing about it. No, it was I'm supposed sure to be the team Raiders. No, it's supposed to be. Ra- oh, that would have been good. No. They, oh yeah, Raiders. Raiders was last year. Uh, was Chargers, ass. LA teams, Chargers and Rams. Mm. This was a dude duo. That's still happening, I think. Is it? I mean, they haven't started training camp, so they they can't film yet. But yeah, that's still mm. happening, and that's gonna be so good. Oh my god! Everyone masked up. <laughs> Yawn. Let's see. Um, so I got a link here because I thought everything like yeah, the NFL has been quiet about returning, but I thought I didn't know things were this weird with the players and NFL. So there's this hashtag going around among NFL players, um, hashtag we want to play, mm. and JJ Watt summed it up the best because he's kind of a nerd. Um, he wrote it all out, saying, explaining what the hashtag means. Um, so here, here's what it is: we want to play because NFL has been like quiet. They've been like trying been to silent. Trying to start without anyone like noticing, but the players are noticing that they're starting and they're like not taking precautions apparently. 
So he says, we want to play. We want to be as safe as possible. The NFL can mandate that players show up to training camp regardless if only if sorry. The NFL Drunk. can <laughs> the NFL can mandate that players show up to training camp regardless if any agreement has been reached between the NFL and the NFLPA. We still have not been granted the full and proper training camp acclimation period necessary as recommended by the medical and training staffs. We still do not know if there will be daily testing, every other day testing, etc. We still do not know if there will be preseason games or not. We still do not know if we still do not know how a positive COVID test will be handled in regards to others in close contact. It include like an example in the huddle, directly engaged with, etc. <clears throat> a strong and fair opt-out clause for those at higher risk or those with family members at higher risk has still not been agreed upon. If players do not show up on time, they can be fined or considered in breach of contract even if health and safety protocols have not been agreed upon or infectious disease emergency response plans have not been approved. And he ends it with, we want to play. So their players are saying, we want to play, but NFL, you gotta, you got to give us something because apparently the NFL has nothing in place right now saying – like what he laid out. Hey, if if you are worried about your health, like if Vince Wilfork was playing today, you think he's it's healthy for him to be subjecting himself to coronavirus? Probably not. Why are you um, attacking Vince? <laughs> I don't know. I guess there are other fat, like sorry, big heavy set offensive oh, okay. linemen. Like these offensive linemen, defensive linemen. What if they drop like flies because COVID? If you're overweight, um, while these guys are probably in great physical shape, but you know some of them are fat. They're just know. strong. That's what we'll say. They're strong. But big, they they still big. don't have they just still don't have the, the stamina endurance. Yeah, because like, they're still they're still jogging and huffing and puffing around there. They're big yeah. dudes. They're pushing around dudes the same size as them. But this goes this just adds to me being pessimistic about the season because this comes out a couple of weeks before they're supposed to report to training camp when they see their brothers over in the NBA in this bubble that's supposedly. You know, got all the health safety concerns addressed. Um, they have entertainment. They have everything. And they can't leave. And then you have NFL teams who have 60-plus players, 50-plus players um, in the staff. Um, and there's there's been nothing. Nothing said about how they're going to start the season, preseason games. They All they said was maybe we'll cut it in half to two. They haven't addressed any of the traveling. None of it. And this is supposed to start – in August, so it's just like college football a bit. College football, yeah. they're they're back in their they're back in their shell. They're quiet again. Just, no news breaking for college football. I don't understand why NFL is so quiet about this. Like, how do you not have a team come like the NBA? Like they laid out a an ice ass bubble in Orlando. They did they, a lot. They had a seventy page something contract laying it all out they were an nfl training camp supposed to start this fucking week and they have no plan yeah they, nba, NBA was prepared be. for this to come up and they were also the first league to shut shit down um it's just it's just ran better we all know goodell's a clown but i think Russ- i think them him and the owners of the teams probably thought that and they probably still think that this corona shit's bullshit or you know it was going to go away or they probably had some thought like that. And now we're here, and nothing's going to happen until these players, which they just did, stepped up and started talking about it. Because I saw the tweet. I clicked on the hashtag. Um, Russell Wilson was talking about it. Kyler Murray. He said, He said, I am concerned. My wife is pregnant. NFL training camp is about to start, and there's still no clear plan on player health and family safety. We want to play football, but we also want to protect our loved ones. Hashtag we want to play. Yeah. Hmm. And I, mean, I don't know. People, I, oh. What if they have this out? <laughs> Go ahead. And I don't know if other teams have came out and said that they're going to also do 25% capacity in the stadium like the Jags. But on the call that I had, they said, like, the front office staff's not even allowed to be on the field for the upcoming season. Like, the, the chief marketing officer um, and just other people – involved in like the brand management and shit like that they're not even allowed on the field so i was like who the fuck's gonna be allowed on the field and they didn't have any answers so with you know this being a month and a half maybe two away it's not very you know coordinated or planned to restart the season yeah wild um in other football headlines 
not only are the Redskins dropping their name and mascot, they also got um, Me Too'd by 15 women. Mm. Did you see that report? It came from the Washington Post. I did. The title said, 15 women have accused former Redskins employees of sexual harassment. And that's actually all I know about it because the Post has a paywall. So I couldn't read about it. Um, but right. they did release text, some text messages in a thread, though. And let's read them here. My poor dad. I know. He's going through he's going through the ringer right now. 15 women get sexually harassed and you're like, my poor dad. Just <laughs> hey, my mom didn't give a shit. Here's a... Or grandma. Here's a text. <laughs> it's funny listening to them talk because they like got no filter. Oh, I love They got no talk. filter. My mom and grandma were like, man, these women, they they were all late to the Me Too movement. They just see the Redskins in the spotlight. They're just trying to get some money. Where were you when all these other women were coming out? I was like, I'm dead. I love it. They need to come on the pod. <laughs> she going to do that shit. Um, I'm not going to read these texts. They're not that interesting. Um, I got a rant. You're a little early. I know. But let me rant. Madden um, continues to just not be able to get out of its own way. And they act- they just absolutely just Ooh. set themselves up for like... Getting roasted? It just, uh, this is really bad. So... They... they uh, Adam Schefter's been tweeting out their top rated players and he did pass rushers the other day so here's madden's top pass rushers um stop me when you hear something ridiculous aaron donald 99 jj watt 98 oh Oh, yeah i agree (laughs) khalil mack 97 von miller 97 Fletcher Cox, 96. Who? Cam Jordan, 96. Chandler Jones, 95. Calais Campbell, 95. Miles Garrett, 93. Chris Jones, 92. Let me say something. Go First ahead. of all, Calais Campbell would not be 95 if he was still in the Jaguars. I promise. But he goes to the Ravens, and you know the NFL slurps the Ravens. <laughs> well, I don't know. He's all of a sudden a 95 in Madden. Okay. Okay. 36-year-old Calais Campbell. Yeah. He's 33, like, and he's 95 overall, probably the highest he's ever been in Madden because he's on the Ravens. Fuck out of here. I love Clayus Campbell, but he got, what, six sacks last year. You're a little, you're about three years late to the party, Madden, and you're also three years late to J.J. Watt being a 98. Yeah, they, and, they should rate these guys from the phrase, you're only as good as your last game or last season instead of rating these guys based yeah. on their name and their history in the league. You don't you don't rate a player who was a beast on the Bears defense in 2017 a 97 in 2021 when they didn't do shit last year. Khalil Mack, how did he do last year? Did you I don't do I don't know who how any of these guys did last year cuz I don't Jay, okay, so, so I got I brought the defensive some side of the ball, except for the Jags. So they really went hard on the J.J. Watt and, Khalil and Von Miller name recognition here. It's like they're tailoring to like Von Miller, twelve-year-old kids that play Madden but don't really watch too much football. It's like well, I'm gonna be Texan. J.J. Watt, my hero, ninety-eight. Shut up. So J.J. Watt, they have ninety-eight in twenty nineteen. <laughs> this is last season. J.J. Watt tied for ninety-fourth in the NFL with. Four fucking sacks. TJ Watt, his brother, who you didn't mishear me, he's not in this list. TJ Watt tied for fourth in the NFL with 14 and a half sacks. Maybe they had a typo. I fucking hope so. TJ. But he, not only did he have 14 and a half sacks, he had eight forced fumbles and two interceptions as a lineman. And this man is not in the top 10. But J.J. Watt, who has fallen off, hasn't been the same in five years, is a 98? Yeah. He's one rating away from the 99 club. That would make it way more interesting if they give a, a second-year player the 98 and put J.J. Watt down into the 82s or some shit. 
that's where he belongs anyway. He's like one more injury away from retirement. He, yeah, he's oh, this is bad. So Fletcher Cox, one. who that the Eagles guy? The Eagles. What do they? What do like, they do? Oh, is that the dude who I was gonna put in the top one hundred off the dome? Maybe we'll see. <laughs> you just wrote this list in here, so you had some reference, didn't you? Cheating ass. Ni- <laughs> Hold on, I get, I get to that. Von Miller, he had is a ninety-seven. He had eight sacks last year, tied for thirty-third. For reference, Jaguars rookie defensive Allen, defensive Allen, Jaguars rookie defensive end Josh Allen, he had ten and a half sacks. That's my guy. And, like this is name recognition only. I like this you refresher. Wanna... Yeah, I know. I did too. <laughs> so yeah, all ten make list. it. <laughs> our, our, <laughs> our next ten is just gonna be defensive, defensive pass rushers, right? Shaquille Barrett not on this list. He had nineteen and a half sacks. He led the league, didn't he? Yes. Danielle Hunter is also not on this Who? list. Who? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a name that I saw a lot in Adam Schefter's mentions, saying that he was snubbed. He had 14 and a half sacks. He's on the Vikings. I'm glad I looked him up because if I hadn't, he would not have made my top 100 list. He would not have made our top 100 list and neither of us knew who he was. And that would have been very unfortunate. What happened to um, that defensive lineman who was on the Bucks and then went to the Panthers with the with the dreads? Uh, the guy that got picked the same year as Indomitian Sue, the defensive tackle. You're giving me too much. You're giving me too much uh, history that I don't know. What was his name? Panthers D lineman. It's pissing me off now because he was on the Bucks and then he went over to the Panthers and then he got. No, he was good. He was good for a long time. And he got. He did get drafted with Indomitian Sue. Someone's texting. God, us. I wonder what someone's year. texting us right now to say it, and then I'm going to say it on the pod, and then be like, "Oh, you just said it," but I ain't got it in my head yet. So go ahead and let me know, because oh, Gerald McCoy, Gerald McCoy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to say about the Madden ratings because it took up my entire Twitter feed last week. And it's maybe because I haven't played Madden since 2010 that I just don't give a shit about Madden ratings. But I, why are they so hyped up every year like it's not just a video game and you can go off with literally any player if you put the game on rookie mode? You could run, t- you could run five touchdowns with Fournette. It don't matter what his rating is. I don't understand why it's always hyped up. Because well, it's, it's a video game. You can, you can go off with anybody. You play 2K. You've seen what the fuck goes on. You seen Tony you Parker nice in the paint? It don't matter if he's an eighty-two. <laughs> you, you can't. But when you play online versus other players, or you do franchise mode, or more specifically, mostly when you online. Play online, or when you play versus other people, you can't affect the rating. The rating is a rating, and if Fournette's a ninety-five. He's going to break more tackles and have nicer jukes and stiff arms than he will if he's an 82. Okay, that makes sense. Because I never played online Madden. It was always... Yeah, you probably didn't even have Madden when internet... Yeah, when didn't. It. consoles could connect to the internet, so... I, I um, was PS2 my entire life, as you know, so by the time... I do. By the time people were playing Madden online, I, was, I didn't have no Xbox, so... Oh, well. Um, all right, time for top 100 off the dome. Let's review last week because I have some regrets. Can't be regretting. Oh, yeah, I came your first in, one. <laughs> yeah. I came in with Eric Weddle. It turned out he was retired. Shout out Sebastian. But at least he's 100. At least I didn't put him anywhere near a uh, That was just maybe it was like a, a sentimental 100. Like a Eric Weddle. <laughs> 99, Marvin Jones. That was a good one. Thank I you. Think maybe he could have been higher. 98, Calais Campbell. Got roasted a few times for that, saying that he was too low on the list. Little low. Little He's low. 33. 97, Gardner Minshew. I think you messed up here because you put Kyler Murray ahead of him. Well, I agree with that. I have no regrets there. Why? I mean, we both agree I that think, I think Kyler Minshew is had the better. better. And, he, and he will be with Hopkins. Okay. Yeah, he will be. True. True. Um, 
DJ chart kind of nice though. <laughs> ninety six Jordan Poyer, no regrets there. Ninety five. I, I don't apologize. Really like I apologize. I don't really like. <laughs> I don't really like how you did Jawan Taylor here. I I, I picked him because his bias pick and he's real. He follows me on Instagram. Oh, okay. Jawan catches fish. Ninety four. Ninety four <laughs> Kirk Cousins. Ninety three Marlon Mack. These are solid picks. Yeah, I like those. Ninety two Joe Burrow. That could have waited. They could have. To next year. Oh, you mean higher. To next year. Oh. oh. <laughs> and 91, Kyler Murray. So we have Kyler Murray and Joe Burrow better than Kirk Cousins. <laughs> I, I ain't complaining. What's Kirk done? Went viral for, you like that, is about it. <laughs> Beats the Saints. Um, true. That's about it. Kirk can't get over that hump. Can't get over that hump. So, we're about to do 90 through 81. Oh, speaking of, I do like the graphics you were posting on uh, social media. Did like yeah, those. Twitter didn't. Instagram Instagram shows some love, but they might be staying off Twitter. Maybe for Twitter instead of... Maybe post that th- five out of all time. Of them. Yeah, instead of one, 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 one. Okay. I was trying to be like the NFL. You, know. you already started. You can't stop now. So I have to finish. On Twitter, yeah. Fuck. There's probably going to be one person on Twitter like, where the rest? <laughs> <laughs> Who's it going to be? Let's think. <laughs> Some random. Bubba. It'll be Bubba. Bubba. <laughs> so we got 90 to 81 coming at you. Top 100 players off the dome. No research. No notes. Easy. Ain't easy. That's correct. Should we do you first or will that fuck it up? Uh, do I have to start it? You always have to start it. Yeah, true. Oh, boy. 90. That doesn't make it any easier for me. (laughs) 90. We are going with... Give me the D end. True. Got the list up there. (laughs) Oh, I forgot. We're allowed to do this. Team logos. logos, NFL. I already got mine pulled up. Pull up your logos. Just going to start naming all the teams. This guy's from the... Nope, he's from the... I'm a Saquon shirt in honor of this list. Remember we put him like top 15 a couple years ago. As a rookie. Yep. He did not disappoint. No, he did not. Um, okay. So I'm looking at I'm looking at it and my eyes are being drawn to a specific team. And see that team obviously it's up ups and downs, but this guy is typically the rock. Who holds it together year in and year out? The king of stalling. So we're gonna go Drew Brees. Just kidding. Drew Brees. Just kidding. Um, I'm thinking. He's gonna be benched. I'm thinking this one's. God, I need a refresher. We need to do this top 100 like right after the season ends. And do like that wouldn't be any fun. It wouldn't. <laughs> Super Bowl's over. Let's do top 100 <laughs> for next season. Come on, you got all those logos there. I know, but I don't know any of them. But to make, you got to remember, you got to look at the list and remember that who you're picking is better than everyone that's on that list. I know. <laughs> Position-wise, at least, because you can't compare QB to D-line, I guess. Jesus Christ, this is hard. Let's go. What about uh, the list? For fuck's sake. <laughs> Come on, guy. Amari Cooper. Mm. What? I don't usually have initial reactions, but I will after the show <laughs> usually. It's like there's not enough time to take in your picks uh, live. I give you plenty of time. Seems a little low. Or high. Which one is it? I don't know. Uh, 89. 89th player. Best player in the NFL. I'm looking at these logos here. Amari Cooper did fall off last year. Solid, solid-ish pick. Um, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go Devin Singletary. Bulls. I mean, uh, Bills powerhouse oh back. God steals carries from Frank Gore. He is the offense in Buffalo. Josh Allen is not. I remember you weren't there, but. 
Bills were having a playoff game. I was like, feed Singletary. Mm. They were playing the Patriots, I think. I think it was it was um in the playoffs. I don't remember if it was playoffs. Was it the playoffs? No. I don't think it so. was an important game for them though, because if they won it, they would take the lead in the division, I think. And the Bills were staying in that shit. And it was like the final drive, and Josh Allen just had to go score a touchdown, I think. And I was like, feed Singletary. I was like screaming that shit at the TV. And they didn't give this man the ball once. They put it in Josh Allen's hand mm. every single down. Mm. I remember that. And and he was pissing me the fuck off. Because Devin Singletary was eating all game. My FAU guy. And they didn't give it to him. So for that, you know, just for that, Bills, I don't even rock with you no more. I'm done. Spell his name. Really? You're done Sing- with the Bills? Singleto- Unless they feed Devin. Mm. Feed Motor. My guy. You should uh, throw the FAU logo on his uh, graphic. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> 88. I know. I know. I'm telling the listeners. You forget we talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> this is so hard. Who's that Titans defensive tackle? Casey, right? Oh, no, please don't put Jarrell Casey. <laughs> Why? Too low? Too high? Not that we know what that means. Shouldn't even be on it. Got roasted last year putting him on. Jarrell Casey? I thought it was nice. If you're going to do a Titans player, just do Taylor Lewan. <laughs> That's the only person we're giving grace to. <laughs> Why Titans only nice in the line? Oh, I guess <laughs> Derrick Henry. Shit, we got to put him on here. Oh, it's going to yeah. hurt. Oh, yeah. High, too. Jordan Howard, is he nice? Mm. This ain't the Bears. Oh, my God. One season on the Bears he had. Can we just do good. top 50 of skill players? Because I'm not going to be able to do the linemen. God, stop giving up. You at 88. I already throwing in the towel. <laughs> I've made like six picks so far. <laughs> I can't name seven. I'm sweating and naming my turn. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Come on, bro. You see them logos? Just thinking them players. I it's fucking crazy that I can't. Ain't no top 100 guard. It's a- <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is. I'm like Colts. If he's still nice. And oh. that guy on uh, the Redskins. Oh, I got one. I got a guard. It's the Chiefs. Okay. It's the Chiefs' offensive lineman. It's a tackle. What's his name? Yeah, asking the wrong person. <laughs> Chiefs. Chiefs. Can't look it up. Offensive line. Frank Clark. No, you know who I'm talking about. No, the fuck I don't. I don't know guards. He plays left or right tackle. If he ain't playing point or shooting, I don't know him. It. <laughs> It's Eric Fisher. Okay. I'll let a Chiefs fan debate that with you. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> debate me. Better than Gardner? <laughs> Joking. <laughs> QB versus fucking offensive line. 87. <laughs> um, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking there's somebody on the Jets that belongs in this spot. But then again, Robbie, I only know the quarterback of that team. Robbie Anderson. Le'Veon, how's he doing? No. How's he doing in the NFL? No. No, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, we have to redeem ourselves with this 10 because our first 10 were I think so far we're good. Yeah. Um, okay, I got one for you. 87, give me... <laughs> oh, no. Give me. I'm waiting. Give me. Give me Hunter Henry. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nice. I had him in fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I have to Google make sure this is really you. I... Hunter Henry. Hunter Henry. Come on, no! <laughs> I was putting a tight end here either way. Hunter Henry. 
top ten tight end. Give me a break. Oh, I can't breathe. He's well, a top ten tight end. Mess up my pick because I'm going with. He's a, he's a top ten tight end. There's got to be ten tight ends in the top one hundred. You ready for my pick? Yeah. I didn't mess shit up. I kind of made this pick in my head when you were thinking of yours, and I'm staying That's by good. Philip Lindsay. Philip, <laughs> love fucking Lindsay. My boy. He ain't better than Devin. Who? My boy oh, Singletary. Oh boy, my boy, old motor, oh motor boy. Oh, he is now. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to raise you a Philip Lindsay. Yeah. And give you an Austin Eckler. You got to remind me who this is. Chargers running back. You're going to two Chargers players back to back? It's my list. No, it's our <laughs> list. That's if brutal. it ain't in blue, it ain't yours, huh? Austin Eckler? Come on, man. Above Shut Philip up. Lindsay and Devin Singletary? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hold on. Hold on. That's the offense. That man was eating. Austin Eckler. Yes. He gave stats. us an 80 yard touchdown catch. On us. He did. Us as the Jags. Austin Eckler. In 2019. Okay, uh, we don't need your fucking stats. Philip Lindsay. Well, we're stats. We're stats people. Here we go. Let's see here. Top seven back. Debate me. About to. <laughs> Philip Lindsay in 2019 had a thousand rushing yards and seven touchdowns. Austin Eckler Weak. had 557 yards and three touchdowns. He was sharing carries with Melvin. I don't Moore care. And I'm sleeping. <laughs> top one. Who else is in the Broncos' backfield? Austin Eckler, top fucking 100 player. Hell yeah! Jesus. Bet she goes in the top three rounds of the draft. I'm asleep. I know you are. Shut up and give me 84. Yeah, yeah, I will. I smack Cam you. Jordan. Someone out there going to agree with Cam Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> just threw that bitch in there. That was easy. You wanted a quick pick. I just scrolled up, looked at our D lineman. You're cheating. Um, 83. Yes. That came quick. Yes, it did. Let's just finish <laughs> the list tonight. I can't do that. <laughs> it's too much brain power. Imagine. At 9 p.m. It's 10. I'm in Central Time. Um, 83. Uh, I'm looking at old logos here. That's St. Louis Rams. Almost said Isaac Bruce. <laughs> um, Kurt Warner. <laughs> uh, who do we got here? Who do we got here? Who do we got here? Give me... Hmm, I don't know how good he is. He's pretty Ew. good, but I don't... Marcus Peters. Oh, Eagles, right? Lineman? Don't remember. He's a DB. <laughs> Just pick him. No. <laughs> Almost said Ty Law. He's retired. Mm. I think Patriots don't know who that is. I'm stalling too much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget who to pick. I got to say somebody. I just got to say somebody's name. Say it. Tua? Nah, not Tua. Tua. He ain't played yet. Oh, Andrew Luck retired. Fuck! Browns. Who in the Browns? Could do Andrew Luck. If you were playing, you'd be nice. <laughs> Could we throw retired players in here? <laughs> we did. Um, who's on the Packers these days? I don't know. They got the wide receiver in Aaron Rodgers. Fuck. I'm not putting Devontae Adams. Steelers. Who's the Packers running back? Aaron Jones. Bengals. It's not a bad Bengals. pick. TJ Hushmanzada. TJ Hushmanzada. Mm. Touchdown. This is where I this is where I start to sweat and cave under pressure. At pick eighty two or eighty three. Yeah. And I have another one too. You only got one more. I gotta do this again. Thank God. <sighs> fuck. Fuck my tight fucking hole. Let me see. Give me Brian Erlacher. I was thinking him. <laughs> I want to go Jameis. I want to give Jameis love. Shut up. <laughs> Huck, I don't know anybody. It's sad. 
receivers and running backs and QBs. Kenny Stills. No. Give you put Amari Cooper there. Give me fuck. fuck. God, I'm pissed. Give me Miles Sanders. Suck me. Miles Sanders. You'll have to rem- remind me who that is. You're gonna have to Google that fucker. <laughs> Eagles back. Oh my god, you're fucking up this list so hard. I'm fucking something up. Jesus. Give me a break, yo. It ain't it ain't easy. It ain't easy. <laughs> he probably oh. had three hundred yards. <laughs> Mm, I'm trying to prepare my next pick. Was that another running back you just took? Yeah. So you did Was three. That my third. <laughs> so you got. Yeah, that's your third. I'm, my whole list is going to be back. Jesus. Um, all right, let's take these logos out and see who I want. Don't act like you're only going to pick that one guard. That's all you got. That's all you got for us. What guard? Eric Fisher. Eric Fisher. That's a tackle. <laughs> Whatever. Tomato. Mm. Who's that? I really took I took three running backs. Yeah. Just four total so far. <laughs> Who's that safety on the Titans? I want to pick them really high so people get pissed. Kevin Kevin Bird. Kevin Bird or whatever his name is. That's what Bynard. I'm doing. Kevin Byard. You're gross. Aha. Uh-huh. Titans fan's going to be pissed. It's too low. Shut up. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, you didn't think this, this was going to come that quickly, did you? This is my moment. Oh, you know. shit. 81. If you go running back, I'm logging off. <laughs> I will... Specifically not do running back for you. Instead, I'm going to give you Oh man, oh that's Oh man, fuck this pussy, fuck this pussy. Um Oh man, I'm looking I'm looking up his name. Oh, D Ford. That's who I wanted. D Shut up. <laughs> Give me a break. Wow, the blues here are just absolutely <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Yo, man, we had such a good we had such a good thing on the way. I st- we didn't have shit. started off with Amari Cooper. Devin Singletary, not bad. Eric Fisher, list is looking nice. Hunter Henry. And then I rebound with Philip Lindsay. Keep it. What do you mean rebound? You know, keep it um, respectable. Austin Eckler. <laughs> and then you know I rebound again. Cam Jordan. You cheated with Cam Jordan. Miles fucking Sanders, it... Kevin Byard, and then D fucking Ford. All right. Till next time, everyone. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter until we get into the fifties, anyway. True. Whatever. As long as we're not fucking each other. Like. Why not? As. <laughs> As long as we're not fucking each other's like future lists, I think we're good so far. Maybe Kevin Byard, but that's that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'll take that. One. We're gonna run out of so many players. All right. I don't Always know. We do. got a few. We got a bunch of scrubs here, so I think we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, which means we will run out. Like we'll run out of spots. My shirt is soaked. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> yes. It is a little darker blue than it was when we started. <laughs> um, on to NBA. Hurry up. Um, like we said earlier, scrimmage is starting this week, I believe Wednesday. So we'll get some fresh basketball highlights. Who's getting got injured a first? Of, we already got a picture of LeBron flexing. Only thing I've seen so far is highlights of layup lines and, you know, dunk montages in practice. I'm looking forward to some in-game footage because I need it. Did you see that they're building a barber shop in the bubble? Yeah, and... Um funny tweet about it being 2k my player mode or whatever oh they're building a 2k park my park right that's pretty funny someone said 2k shoes is next 
the <laughs> shoe store and have Okay, Kawhi. Um, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, NBA starting real soon. Looking forward to talking with you guys about it in the next couple weeks as we drop our p- joking. Can't what? release that information <gasps> yet. Ooh. It's a tease. It's been a tease for two months. But um, on to rants, raves, and reviews. We asked you guys to text us Ooh, yes, some of I your forgot. own. I want to hear this. Yeah. We asked you guys to send in some of your own, how you guys are living out here in a COVID pandemic world. So we know y'all got stuff to get off your chest. Plug the community So we're going to... We're going to read some via the community app. That is 386-204-6499. If you ever want to get on the show, we do a lot of communication through this platform. Hunter Bodine. Here's a rant. Why won't the NFL implement a system to deal with COVID? Is he listening in live? (laughs) (laughs) We We don't know, Hunter. We don't know, Hunter, but... I think they will. I I don't actually don't know. I mean, with this hashtag, you know you can get shit done with a hashtag on Twitter, so expect one by tomorrow. Friday? Oh, and I think an announcement will come from the NFL Monday about, you know, a plan. A draft being made. A draft Maybe. of the yeah, yeah. Uh, COVID playing safety measures. Um, Caleb Asbell from Georgia says, Rave. Y'all have been consistent with the pod for damn near three months, and it's great because we get more of your takes because you're able to talk about news every week. Duh. Also gives me something to look forward to every week, and y'all are just really entertaining. Thanks, Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. Jinx. Tell me something I don't know. Um, people are giving me one-word answers. Oh, this one's long. Rant. Oh, boy. Ryder Johnson from Washington. NBA rant. Let's hear it. Everyone says the NBA is super progressive, but won't allow players to pick what they have on the back of their jerseys. I thought they were letting them pick. They they have a but selection. From, uh, like there's some things where yeah. you can't do. Jimmy Butler wants to have the back of his jersey blank where his name would be. His reasoning was essentially, if I wasn't in the NBA, society wouldn't care about me, which I think is spot on. NBA wants to come off as super progressive. And in some ways it is, relative to how other leagues are run. But they still want players to fall in line on some of the simplest of things like what Jimmy Butler wanted to do. Not a big fan of changing what the jersey says to what the list the NBA provided, but I think having it blank was better than all the options given. Anyways, that's all. Love the pod. Hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy. Much love to both of you. That is a pretty good idea by Jimmy Butler, but yeah, like he said, NBA is very progressive compared to every other single s- sport it is i agree and we talked about this on the last episode that the fact that they, they even allowed them to do something like that because that's you know not happening in any other league um here is a review chase cybers from washington a lot of washington's out here if you already don't have it on the schedule Review what we are thinking about the NBA actually being played compared to any college sports, along with the NFL. Huh? How it's being played? Like in a bubble? Yeah, I I think that's what he means. Yeah, I don't Um, know with the NFL. Like, different states have different rules. Did you see the Blue Jays, the Toronto Blue Jays, saying that they can't About the jail? Huh? They can't play? About them going to jail if they are seen outside of the stadium? Field. Oh, I don't know about That's that. What I saw, but oh, we saw some. I don't think they can play in Toronto at the Blue Jays, so they'll have to play elsewhere. I don't know, but yeah, with NFL, like there's going to be these different states that are going to have different ideas about this about playing. Um, so there are going to be some stadiums that'll have empty fans. Some will have twenty five percent. Like it's just, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know what they they can do. I have no idea yeah. how it's going to look. It's going to be so crazy. I'm here for it because I love weird things, and I love watching. I, I think this is just going to be fascinating. Um, I don't know where they could all congregate though. If they did like one, like if they did a bubble like the NBA, I don't. Um, what would be a Vegas? Um, maybe they're in Orlando too. I don't know. Who knows? But 
you know, I'm I'm for the NBA bubble, I and guess. It's also, just, it's going to be a weird season. There's so many more players and staff in the NFL. So, good luck finding hotels for all 32 teams. Um, here's a rave about Netflix show. Maybe you've seen it. I know I haven't. It's a show oh, it's from Ozark? Jackson Gill. Jackson Gill used to be in our group chat. Um, it's a show called Down to Earth with Zac Efron in it. I've seen people talking about this. They travel the globe learning about what these random places in the world are doing to help our Earth and what healthy lifestyles are living. Very oh. eye-opening. I was thinking, I jumped to conclusion and thought it was just uh, another let's follow around this Hollywood star. Well, I, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I might give Jesus. it a, I, I did see a lot of um, Zac Efron dad bod memes and tweets, so I assume that's we got a lot of people watching that Zac Efron documentary or whatever it is. This guy Toby Prime says he wants another Bob Marley um, reuniting people through music. Um, he's saying we just need someone to unite us together and bring us together through sound because politics, public figures, and hashtags on Insta and Twitter don't work. We need something timeless. I don't know if you can catch my drift, but he'd like to hear our thoughts on that. Oh, I dig it. That kind of stands uh, on its own. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, I guess he's looking for another musical icon. Let me eat un- your ass. <laughs> who's unproblematic. Oh. Good luck. Everyone got um, an opinion. There's just not that would be the type closest. of person anymore. Bob Marley is Bob Marley. John Legend? Um, John. <laughs> no, he's super political. Um, so, so was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was political? Yeah. They don't really care about us. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a song I was thinking about, too. Um, I don't know, man. Skin, Bob Marley hey, is... Hey. is it's just kind of hard not to be in a political world when that's what this country is. Um, not reading that. <laughs> Lamar is ro- rated lower than Gronk and Madden. No. <laughs> rant. That's a rant. I wonder what Gronk's rating was. I know there was, I saw something talk. There was like an ad I saw. Let's see. Rob Gronkowski. A couple of rants in here about people mad at the. Madden ratings. Justin Deezering. Oh, are there? Yeah. What's this one? There's, Give me there's a one. lot more. He's a 95. Fuck. Who? Gronk, Gronk. or Lamar? Well, Lamar's a 94. Oh. Jeez, he's higher okay. than... <laughs> Good lord. There's an article called This is Why Madden 21 Gave Buccaneer Star Rob Gronkowski a Surprising High Rating. My God. George Kittle's a 98. Travis Kelsey's a 97. All those guys should be 95 plus. Yeah. Kittle um, and Kittle and um, Kelsey's a good, a good debate. Yes, it is. I mean, I it was going to... I'd say... I'd say Kelsey, but I just reminded of... What Kittle did to, to the Saints, I believe. Oh yeah, destroyed ran, them. Ran over like eight people. Here's a rant from Samuel Williamson from Kentucky. He said, "I think people who hate on women for making an OnlyFans account got to be some of the saddest people on this planet. Their only argument against it is some bullshit like get a real job. Like what even is a real job? LMAO. I agree, Samuel." Mostly because I have one of my own, and it pays my bills. <laughs> so, if you got it, flaunt, flaunt it. it. You know, people are going to hate no matter what kind of shit you do, so fuck them. Um, another OnlyFans one. Anthony Ramos. <laughs> oh, these, your, these are like This is funny. This is funny because it's the, the opposite take. Ooh. He said, I'm I'm mad about people making OnlyFans and making thousands of dollars for that shit. <laughs> wow, great timing. Oh, sorry, Anthony. I'm one of them. So, unfollow me, I guess. 
Why is it? What? Why are you mad at that, Anthony? You mad people getting a coin? You mad because you don't got the confidence to put your dick online, bit? Come on, man. Don't be hating. Don't be hating because you can't do it. Come on. People just trying to make their money out here. Everything expensive in America. Shit. Can you can you give us a little tease? Maybe what your next post will like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, thank God my family doesn't listen to this podcast. But, you know, Granny yeah, House has been great God. for content. Granny has been great for content. Are they? Are, do you have some freaky people that are into like? I don't even know what what. It, Someone what you asked me dig to up. come in my grandma's kitchen. Jesus. <laughs> and I was like, really? I was like, really? You want me to do that? He's like, uh, he's like, I don't know. It's just it's just the thought of you is coming in your grandma's house. I like so anyway, it works for me. And he was like, well, I was like, if you see me posting a video coming in the house, it's grandma house. So <laughs> <laughs> grandma house. Um, Gustavo Ramos. This is a rant from Aurora, Illinois. I'm with you. Same state. Um, Pull up. I think he's, he's ranting about something we've already talked about. Why the fuck do Shannon and Skip talk about the Cowboys only? Like there's hella more teams to talk about. Um, because... Obviously, Cowboys, Lakers, who else? Why did Dallas take over as, like, the number one team in football? Is it just because they were hot for a popular period of time? Hmm. Like, Dallas, Texas? Like, why Dallas, Texas? They've had that America's team label for a minute. Is it because they're the richest NFL team? Yeah, but they were only the richest NFL team because they're America's team. Mm. Wonder what happened. I guess it was that period. Are where they? They were, they were good in the eighties. Yeah, they do have six rings. So I don't think they have six. Correct. I think they have like five. <sighs> Whatever. Tomato. Um. So someone said <laughs> Dun and Drew Steelers podcast. Or... Same guy said Dun and Drew podcast is the equivalent to jacking off for the first time. Once you start, you never miss a beat. God, I love that. Interesting. One. <laughs> Peter West. Shout that name's Peter. familiar. Ohio State group chat. Nick Chubb is the top three running back in the league. Constantly disrespected Car- for the bigger names like Saquon and Zeke. Not for me. You're a Chubb he, guy. He carried me to the fancy fancy finals last year, so you won't see any Chubb hate from me. You might actually see Chubb in our top ten, top one hundred. So stay tuned for that. Jeremy Gilbert, I'm mad because I started to open up to somebody who in the end left me with the knife still inside. Ooh. You're a relationship guy. Hmm? I said, I said you're a you're a relationship guy. You got the advice for people dealing with heartbreak. I do like you're very watching, experienced. I love watching um shows and movies about heartbreak and I love listening to to music about heartbreak. Um There's a band called Lani or Laney, L A N Y. Put some of that on. Very sad, and it'll probably make you feel worse. But it's some good music. Um, it's about a lot. Of, a lot of it's about heartbreak. Um, so someone left you with the knife still in. Mm-hmm. Um, what would what would Darius say? She's for the streets. Ten four. Or like you like you don't give. You don't open up if you haven't known somebody for that long. You know, you got to keep your guard up at all times. People ain't shit, especially in 2020. Shit's a whole new game out here. It's different now. You got to protect yourself, protect your heart, protect your emotions. Worry about yourself, king. Let them come to you. God, love it. Um, Ethan Crosby, another another guy with relationship issues. Where are you coming out of? Delaware, Ohio. That's kind of... uh, that's a weird What's the word. Oxymoron. <laughs> Delaware, Ohio. Cool. <laughs> this looks like a rant. He said, What's with girls thinking they can play with guys' emotions? Because they're God. women. They hate they like to do it for fun. Oh my god, he's got a story. You want to hear Fuck. It? <laughs> How many more do we have after this? Um There's at least fifteen. Fuck. <laughs> And go, you ask quick. for people to send them in. Yeah, you're right. Go, go, go. <laughs> uh, 
He says, uh, back freshman year of high school, he's a senior now in high school. Okay, I don't even want to keep reading this. Why are, why are we talking about a story for freshman year, my guy? You're a senior now. It shouldn't even still be on your mind, Ethan. Come on. Like, I get it. But, like, if you'd send me a story from four years ago, you about to go to college. This shouldn't even be on your mind anymore, my guy. He's probably Shit. upset right now because he probably was just setting up the story. And he'd probably get to the point later. But as you were. Whatever. Um, Laughlin Smith. What a name. Laughlin from Atlanta, Georgia. He's got a rant. The ignorance of the American people from COVID to racism. People will not stop misconstruing movements. They aren't trends. People with no experience in interpreting data will not stop saying COVID is fake. Mortality rates are down. And he goes on to say something about a Harvard data scientist. Quote, and he says, the only way to get away from it is to turn off the TV and your phone. But if I do, then I'm a sitting duck and part of the problem. Well, to that, I say, you know, you can, ooh, a little voice crack. You can put your phone down, you can turn your TV off. It's good to get away from the shit. But it is our reality. So you can't run from it. Um, but to protect yourself from going crazy, I think it's important to not give attention to the people who are obviously being retarded about the situation because those people always exist and there's nothing you can do about that. So walk and move with the same people that have the same ideas as you and you will be straight. It is that easy. All right. Let's start since there's a lot, let's start just reading them and not giving any feedback, <laughs> not giving feedback. <laughs> uh, our boy, Brian, Olson? my sister keeps, or yeah, what? Brian Olson, San Antonio, Texas. He said his God, sister keeps Brian. seeing her ex and lying to her, their mom about it. She tells him she's going to her friend's house and just goes to his. And she, it's annoying because she's a grown-ass woman and acts like she's 16. And this guy cheated on her for months and lied to her about it. Mm. She's a police officer too, so that's true. <laughs> hey, maybe. Maybe he wanted to because he texted me before he sent this. He's like, can I say something about my sister? So maybe he wants her to hear this. Brian's sister, if you're listening. You for the up. streets. Oh. You for the streets. <laughs> hey, Colton. Hey, Brian. He said, I've missed the last couple of pods. Who the fuck is mad? Oh, God. If someone's trying to cancel Dunn and Drew, I swear to God, I don't think he understands Rants, Raves, and Reviews. The Rants, Raves, and Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's trying to cancel hey. Dunn and Drew, I swear to God. <laughs> Even though he hasn't been hey. listening the last few weeks. <laughs> hey, listen to the last two. Maybe you'll understand, Colton. Um, the whole real, Dunn and Drew community is mad that you and Drew don't have a joint OnlyFans account for the loyal listeners. I mean, maybe we do. Maybe you're just not loyal, so you don't know about it. Mm. We do keep a lot of secrets. You're not going to like this one. Maybe you will. Aaron Hot from Jacksonville says the new Drake songs are ass. Mm, his new mixtape? The two new singles he did with DJ Khaled. Oh. I haven't given... I, I only heard one of them. But it's all right. It's Drake. It's going to catch on. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not mad about that. I don't care about Drake's bad takes anymore because they're all wrong. There's a guy reviewing a pizza place in Kansas. We'll never be there. Um, voter suppression happening right in front of us. Yes, we know. <laughs> I mentioned that on a pod. Yes, we know. Here's a rave. We need some good stuff. Just sports in general that are actually continuing to play, regardless of no fans or not. A lot of people are going to find sports a lot more boring than usual, but I'm just super thankful that they're actually going to play. I don't think they're going to be boring. It's just going to be different without, you know, fans because fans are used in the whole telecast to they're make it them. more interesting for the viewer. I don't think it'll be boring, though. They'll just have to do... Um, different things to keep the viewer engaged. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to go in detail. Uh, Jonah says, Kanye 2020, need thoughts about that? Kanye 2020. Yeah, he did like a rally today and he... Um, I thought that was a joke. Believe it or not, he was kind of off the rails. It's kind <laughs> of not, not all there. It's kind of insane, really. I miss college dropout Kanye. If I'm being honest, but it's never neither here 
nor there. Kanye 2020. Um, I don't think it's a publicity stunt. I think he's genuine. I think he's just he's just crazy. Are you able Sad. to just join in a presidential race like that? Is that how that uh, works? I have no idea. I think he four months some... out. <laughs> I, I who the fuck knows. You you bypass all these Democratic candidates that yeah. What, you know, what was Bernie funds. doing? Why didn't <laughs> why, why didn't Bernie just do that? Just say okay, right. I'm in. So like, I'll losing. run for president now. I tried. <laughs> it was okay. Some guy ranting about his job. Fuck. Oh God. Why are you why are you trying to hang yourself? Our guy Bubba Brooks coming in here with some NASCAR shit. He said, y'all could talk about this for 10 seconds. So we can't if we don't know about it, my guy. Sorry, Bubba, no NASCAR. Um, a rant about some guy getting his wisdom teeth pulled out. Um, and we'll finish with Olivier from Quebec. Guy in Canada listens. Got to hey. show him some love. It's about hockey, obviously. He said, more of one-minute hockey, guys. <laughs> NHL postseason is about to start in less than a week. But anyway, don't stop. Keep up the great work. One episode a week keeps the COVID. What can rhyme with this week? Let me know. I guess he was trying to be funny there. One episode a week keeps the COVID. At bay. That's the oh, rhyme of the week. One episode a week keeps. Keeps the meat. Beat. I don't know fucking know. <laughs> keeps 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 my immune system weak. Shut no, up. That's not right. Um, I got a review. Thank you everyone for sending those in. That was, that was good. We might do that again next week. I got a review. Audiobooks. As you know, I am on book seven of Harry Potter series. I'm on Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. And I had a um, idea to download the audiobook to get through faster and it's worked I've just been bl- like flying through the book but I gotta say I'm not an audiobook guy I learned it's not it's not like it feels less intimate it feels like because when you don't do the voices in your head yourself you don't look at the words on the page it's it's different it's a lot different I'm like I feel disconnected from the book so I have about Eight chapters left. I'm, I think I'm done with the audiobook because I want to finish Harry this great series on a good note. It's been 15 years in the making, and <laughs> I'm going to read it myself Jesus. and really take it in. Right now, Harry Potter is in Hogsmeade. Um, he just met Dumbledore's brother, um, and Neville met them through a, pic- a hole in the wall. And he said, come on, uh, let's go to Hogwarts. And Harry's got to get to Hogwarts before Voldemort does so he can get that Horcrux and destroy it. Wherever it may be, who knows where it is. But it's the first time they're going to be in Hogwarts, this, this book. So I'm excited. I forgot Almost about done. the hor- I forgot Horcruxes were like the main part of that storyline. Because I think the first one comes up in the second series with the Chamber of Secrets, but you don't. Know about you don't it. know it's a Horcrux, yeah. Right, exactly. Um, God. Yeah, I've only Respect. I've only listened to one audiobook and I didn't like it. I'd rather read as well. I'd like oh. to listen to an audiobook that's like n- nonfiction. Like if it's just info, I'll, I'm fine with it because I'm not having to use my imagination. I'm just absorbing the content. But right. Um, well. Any final words? Any last thoughts before we get into the NBA scrimmages? Before we get into the NFL trying to come up with safety protocol? Lot, lot to happen still. College football announcing that they're not playing. We still got some. We got some bombs to drop still. Yep, I can't wait. I think next episode we're gonna have a lot of info on sports, especially NFL. So um, I'm signing off. I got a lot to edit. Looks like the video is going to work. So YouTube. Sweet. Um, so yeah, have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you guys here next Sunday night or Monday morning. Have Bye. A Love you. They're about to, they're about to start their week. <laughs> a great week. I meant. <laughs> oh yes. That's our show. Share this episode with your parents, friends, enemies, rate and review us on iTunes. Por favor. Um, 
you know, text us. 386-204-6499. We'll catch you next week. Looking forward to bringing you guys the things that we've been uh, putting off for a little bit, but they're coming. Just wait, man. Be patient with us. We appreciate y'all. Um, this has been Dunn and Drew, baby. Am I putting the outro in? I was going to put it at the end of my audio. Nice. God, you read my mind. I'm a grown ass kid. Swear I should be like a super. And I did, but I'm a champion. So I turn.